Hello, you guys in the YouTube community. This is uh, the Pipe Pastor here. Um, a little late on my residency today, but I wanted to get something in uh, before the day ends on Monday. Uh, sorry for the absence. I've been pretty sick the last couple of weeks. Pneumonia and pleurisy. Um, so, got some strong antibiotics finally, and I'm starting to feel better. So, I'm, I thought... Uh, I at least owe a live video. I'm not smoking a pipe today because uh, it wouldn't be uh, good for me to do that right now because my lungs are still pretty tender. I hope you understand that. Um, it's going to be short, but I wanted to show you what's uh, kind of a preview of coming attractions, if you will. Um, uh, Scott from Highlands sent me a treasure trove. Uh, of samples for the express purpose of uh, giving them away uh, and uh, giving you guys that have not or gals that haven't tried black gold black gold plus and another one that he sent that's pretty good too called snowflake uh, a chance uh, to do that <laughs> it's uh, kind of cool that he did that on the wings of an uh, uh, another package I received from one of our residents uh, Michael Rizzo, uh, who sent me a package, a very generous package of English blends. And uh, my Irish companions and uh, brethren from around the world cannot stand that um, I I've never had a uh, good experience with uh, an English blend or a non aromatic blend. And uh, Michael did a, a stellar video. Um, a couple weeks ago for me but but um, he sent it to other guys as well to watch it might even have been I think it was on the PSOI site uh, in which he was explaining to me how to enjoy an English blend and um, what I should expect and what I should not expect it was it was uh, just a, a class act <clears throat> and it's really gonna help me um, you know because I I was smoking a, I was trying to enjoy non-aromatic tobaccos with an aromatic expectation and I think that was very fair of him. So I'm going to show you some, uh, I'm going to show you the treasure trove that Scott sent me and uh, what Mark sent me. And um, let me just say that you're, you're going to see a whole bunch of packages from Highland, HighlandCigars.com. Then you're going to see a couple of corn cob pipes that he sent me, and uh, underneath the corn cob pipes will be uh, Michael's uh, a package he sent me of one, two, three, four, five um, English type blends and two pipes. One of his favorite pipes is a Cuddy, which is one of my favorite shapes, and a Peterson, uh, kind of a Dublin, a Peelip Dublin. Um, for me to try these tobaccos in and and Michael I will I'll treat that pipe like my own and people know I baby my pipes that's for sure so <clears throat> I'm gonna turn my computer around to show you these things so I don't know in what direction they're gonna be and whether they're gonna be to the left or whether they're gonna be to the right so uh, that was my explanation for you you're gonna also see uh, a group of blue matches he, uh, Scott Highlands always sends me a group, a bunch of his matches, me and Bold O'Donohue, my son Nick. And um, the reason why is they're just dang good matches. I mean, uh, the matches never go out. He, some of these he's had for 20, 30 years, just as good as ever. And uh, they're just great matches. And <laughs> I, I know that sounds odd to you, but um, I would request his matches when uh, when uh, ordering stuff from him. They're that good. Great, great, great matches. They're uh, <coughs> let's see. They're called uh, Diamond Crown, Diamond Crown matches. Great matches. I just he, he always sends me a bunch. I left them out there. I also left some of his cards out there for you to see. So let me show these to you real quick. <clears throat>
so you can see all of, I, I can barely get all of Scott's stuff in there and you'll see on the far uh, let's see it'll be I think you're right maybe we start with black gold and then in the middle is black gold plus and then snowflake which is a wonderful tobacco and then over here is uh, Michael's packages underneath the two pipes is his uh, pack, uh, samples that he sent me uh, and at the top a Cornell deal pirate cake and then two of his pipes just beautiful wonderful things a lot of generosity and love went into that and uh, I surely appreciate it <clears throat> I sure appreciate it so here's the deal here's what Michael wants to start and I'm all for it I've uh, don't want to toot my horn but I, I've always uh, been glad to send people samples of uh, the tobaccos that I enjoy and uh, Michael wants to uh, do a kind of a pay it back uh, thing and so um, he sent me a hostage of sorts and that's his his wonderful workhorse pipe um, just a nice wonderful I, I, I can just see where this would be hit one of his favorites and uh, he sent this to me with the proviso that after I tried some of these tobaccos in it to send it back and send it back in good shape and uh, I am I am um, wasn't clear whether I was supposed to keep this Peterson or not Michael you might want to explain I, I forgot already um, or not but uh, just to smoke it and try it would be wonderful and I'm gonna do the same with him and uh, so we're gonna do the same and then uh, what we want to do is we want to send out to other guys samples and packages for them to try uh, with a pay it back kind of a thing and kind of circulate this around the club the pipe smokers of Ireland club so as you can see from Scott's generosity I've got one two three four five six samples of each of those tobaccos if you've never first of all if you've never tried black gold <clears throat> you just have to try it. it it is a league of its own with aromatics and and a lot of guys have not had um, a very good experience with aromatics uh, they've got tongue bite or what have you <clears throat> too sweet and on and on it goes um, and and I want you to know that I've, I've smoked a lot of aromatics and um, there is just nothing like a uh, Highlands cigars.com's aromatics there's just nothing like them um, black gold is the finest black Cavendish I have ever smoked in 35 years of smoking pipes <clears throat> you gotta try it before you die black gold plus is uh, black gold with uh, with some uh, Virginia's gold cut Virginia's in it so that's where it gets its name black gold plus it's got golden flakes of Virginia's in it some guys actually like black gold plus more than they like black gold <clears throat> and I go between both of them I smoked black gold for a while it's oh so good and then I uh, said so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out some black gold plus and oh my gosh it's just strikingly delicious I smoked that for a while go back to black gold or or a, a third which is Pete's moss he named after me I always say that because it's my claim to fame I got a tobacco named after me that's how old I am and that's a uh, basically black gold with a uh, cherry infused in it <clears throat> I think Michael Rizzo has tried that Mike Michael you said that you like that so I've got one two th again I've got six bags of that snowflake is very mild and almost has the taste of a vanilla uh, s'mores it's like a, a, a um, well, I want to say I almost taste marshmallows and again it's very mild very good tasting tobacco <clears throat> and um, it's delicious so those are I've got black gold black gold plus and I have snowflake now depending on how many people would like a sample of what I'm gonna I'm gonna start out by saying I'm gonna limit this to just one 
um, sample of each. And so basically that just means I, I only have enough for six guys that want to get in on this. If you've had black gold before, then uh, you, 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 know, you don't want to request that again. Give somebody else a chance to try it. Um, take some black gold plus. If you've had that before and you haven't had any of the others, just let me know. Um, if you just prefer a, a single one, and just let me know and I'll do that. And I'll be glad to send you some. Um, if you'd like to try peat moss, uh, I've got peat moss out there. I'll be glad to fill up the bag for you. Send you some peat moss as well. Um, unlike Mark, uh, unlike Michael, I probably will not send you a pipe. But I have two corn cobs here. Um, if you do not have a pipe, or if you're just a beginner pipe smoker, and um, you've got maybe one pipe or whatever, and you'd like one of the corn cobs, I'll be glad to send you one. And uh, I'll be happy to do that. I've got enough pipes, I pr I'm not going to smoke the corn cobs. Um, one day I might get a real nice corn cob. You know, I've, I've seen some great looking ones out there. <coughs> And uh, and I might I might end up getting a real nice one, you know, a General MacArthur kind of one or something like that. So I've seen some real nice ones out. But as of right now, um, if you request uh, one of those pipes, I'll be glad to send one to you. If you don't have any, if you if you just don't have one, or if you have a kind of beat up one and you're looking for one, corn cob pipes. While you're looking for another kind of pipe, they're they're little cheapy things, but they smoke great and they work well. And I'll be glad to send you that. So, please uh, let let me know. And um, probably the best way you can do this to keep your own uh, um, uh, personal contact information private is to uh, write to me or text me on my Facebook page. If you have a Facebook page, it's Peter Bertolero. Um, and if you just write, go go to Facebook and Peter Bertolero and write me a message in the message box <clears throat> that'll just be between you and I and uh, give me your address information full address information and uh, we'll get her done and uh, for you Michael uh, Michael Rizzo I know you've tried peat moss have you tried black gold black gold plus or snowflake if not those are the three I'd like to send you back so uh, let me know um, what I can do in that regard and I might even send you one of my babies to try as a hostage um, to try the black gold in. But you got to treat her right. None of this Care Townsend kind of thing where you lock them away and never love them. Or get bored after a while and sell them. Boy, I tell you, there was three Care have been Care's been selling, wants to sell. I just, I got, I wished I could have them. A question. I, I think I'm with Michael in this one. We saw recently a green bent, almost looked like one of the Peterson St. Patrick pipes. Uh, and I have a racing green Peterson, real nice. Love the greens. With a yellow amber stem on it. Michael kind of pined away at it. He, he just loved it so much. And so do I. I my favorite colored stem is the amber. Um... My question to you, Care, or, or to you, Michael, probably Care would be the one to ask, is um, what would I have to do to get a St. Patrick's Day pipe from Peterson with a yellow stem? Is it a special order? Do you call somebody? Um, will it probably be more expensive? I imagine so, but I'd like to know. <coughs> Um, because I really, really like the amber and the and the uh, or yellow, however it was, and uh, the green. It looked really cool. Um, and also, do you know anyone out there know what the shapes of the St. Patrick's Day pipes are this year? Um, so I can kind of track those down, and see see what they look like. So that's it for today. Uh, again, I apologize. Uh, don't have my pipe out here to enjoy it with you guys. I sure miss it. 
but uh, it's real difficult to breathe right now so uh, all I've been doing for the last week it seems is just pass out just sleep the whole day away which anybody that knows me knows I hate that I tried uh, keeping up with my workouts at the gym made it to Wednesday and went in Thursday and my body said no <laughs> I mean it was like no preached a sermon on Sunday and it was just awful couldn't breathe pleurisy is a uh, lining in your in your lungs and you can get wet or dry and uh, because I had l blood clots in my lungs from my first knee surgery during football college football my lungs are pretty jacked up and, and susceptible to bronchitis and that kind of thing and they did x-rays and is that it, it was just beginning to turn toward bronch uh, pneumonia and uh, and the pleurisy just sets in and it's just painful it's like knives in your lungs so one of the doctors was wanting to send me uh, put me into the hospital and I said oh no 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 and they tried some antibiotics that were very slow working and I was just getting worse so I finally went into urgent care Saturday I believe it was Friday or Saturday and they gave me a real powerful antibiotic why they didn't before I don't know and uh, this is uh, about the third day that I've been on it and I'm starting to feel better uh, on top of that I woke up Saturday morning and my eyes were glued shut and I got conjunctivitis so it's like all the stars lined up uh, during this time and I just haven't quite been myself but on the men can't keep me down went to the gym this morning my wife says I'm an idiot and um, that's probably a correct diagnosis but <coughs> that's the way it goes so good talking to you guys and uh, hope that all is well with you keep yourself uh, safe and keep yourself healthy and warm don't mess around with this kind of junk, man. It's no fun. And uh, until I talk to you again next Monday, hope or ne yeah, next Monday where where I'll be able to start sampling some of Michael's. This is very interesting. I'm glad you didn't send me that one that looked like a turd in a jar. That looks scary. That rope. This looks really cool. And Cornell and Deal are my second favorite people to deal with. Um, I think. Uh, one of them, the, the guy, I think it, it's a it's a man and wife, and one of them had died. I think it was Cornell. But my heart is very fond toward them for a number of reasons. Um, I do a man camp each year. Some of you well know that, and I ask tobacconists uh, around, you know, I write them on the internet or around the area here. Um, if they would care to support those camps since they're smoking camps uh, with cigars or pipe tobacco <coughs> and um, always had such generous responses but nobody beat Cornell and Deal they sent me a box uh, yay of tins man of tins Tins upon tins, like three, six, nine, twelve, twenty-four tins, at least. Um, and almost every one of them was some kind of a, a an English. There was a group of them um, that was a tribute to black uh, soldiers in World War II, and one was called Muscogee Airmen. Oh my gosh, it was good. I mean, uh, those Englishes, I really enjoyed them. And the Virginias, the Summer something or Summersville or something like that. But um, Cornell and Deal are the most generous people I've ever had business to deal with. And knowing that our camps are, are built to, to uh, heal men and designed also to help uh, uh, servicemen with PTSD uh, get on their way to healing. Um, their heart went out to us and they were very generous same with Highlands 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 uh, Scott is a generous soul and he's been very very good to me and my family we've been doing business with Highlands now for if you uh, combine that with my father-in-law Al Nixon over 45 years one time someone complained they did not have good business with Highlands and they complained to me 
<coughs> they said, what gives? You told us to go do business with them. And we did, and, and it wasn't satisfactory. And to tell you the truth, we had one incident as well where where it wasn't satisfactory. Uh, Highlands is one of the, probably one of the only places in town you should hope for an unsatisfactory business transaction. And the reason why is the way that they rectify that situation is far better than the original order. They will break their neck because they don't want to do that. They're, they're, they're great people. Every once in a while, somebody's going to have a bad day or something's going to happen beyond your control. That's happened twice to me and someone else on my, uh, on my uh, um, video page on, on YouTube. And if you ever want to go to my video page on YouTube, go to YouTube and pipe in one word, capital P, I-P-E-P-A-S-T-O-R, Pipe Pastor. In any case, uh, the way they dealt with the problem was a way above and beyond. So if you ever have a chance to deal with Cornell and Deal, do it. And of course, you know how I feel about Scott at HighlandCigar.com. Uh, Scott, thank you so much. I sure appreciate it. Michael, I got, got nothing but love for you, brother. Uh, so let's see, was I signing off? As I continue to sign off today, <laughs> uh, we'll talk to you again next uh, Monday. This is a Pipe Pastor coming to you again from Fresno, California, Slanche.